What's up guys, it's Carefree Llama, and Call of Duty World War II is still pretty new, so a lot of you might not realize how to unlock the Pack-a-Punch machine in the Final Reich zombie map. So this video is going to show you how to unlock it so that you can start getting these Pack-a-Punch weapons early in the game. I get it here on Wave 6 and use it to, de to defeat Wave 7, and I'll show you how to get it that quickly while being solo. And so go ahead and sit back and watch the video and don't forget to like it if it helps and subscribe for more content. First off, the thing I want to make sure you do, especially if you're on solo, is maximize your points in this very first round or two. Be sure you shoot a couple times each zombie and then melee for the kill. Line up the zombies to conserve ammo and just make sure that you get as many points as possible. And then as soon as you open that first door, turn on the gas. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video showing you all the details of this. I'll go ahead and put a card on that right here on the top of the video. Um, blow the sewer and make sure that, of course, you dispatch these buzzers. I always like to put a well-timed grenade there. Again, going for points, get the melee there. Jump in the hole, turn on the generator. I'm sure you guys know how to do this by now, but it is important to the Pack-a-Punch to turn on the power. And so that's why I wanted to show you that first. Then, as soon as you have 1,250 points, you're going to jump back down in the hole and open the door that leads down to the saw room, because there's a bunch of saws here, and this is also where the Pack-a-Punch is. Right in that cage is the Pack-a-Punch. First thing you want to do is push a button over by the weapon in this room that will activate all of the tunnels. And there are a few pipes that you can actually travel through, fast travel on this map, but in order for those to activate, you first have to push that button and it'll open them allowing you to travel through them. So now what you need to do is travel through each of them and there are three and once you do that it'll lead you to a caged off area down in the Pack-a-Punch room where you can then push a button and start opening the Pack-a-Punch. Here's me just showing you again. It's only round three. Melee, shoot them five, six, seven times with the pistol. Melee for the most points possible. Uh, for this one, we're going to be going to the pub. You're going to want at least uh, 3,250 points in order to open both gates for, at 1,500 and then travel down the tube, which is 250. I have 3,070, so I went ahead and made my way there, knowing that I just need to kill one zombie once I reach it in order to travel through the tube and pushing the very first button to open the Pack-a-Punch. Notice it's almost wave four, and I have yet to buy a gun. Uh, do your very best to conserve points if you want the Pack-a-Punch early. Use your melee attack, push right on the D-pad to pull out your shovel if you need to. And then of course use your pistol, shoot them as many times as you can, melee them. And then ride the tunnel all the way back to the Pack-a-Punch room. Push the button, ride as you exit, and you'll hear a little bit of a machine clanking. That's the Pack-a-Punch starting to open. You've done your very first one, you still have to ride two tunnels in order to make it all the way through. Uh, the next tunnel is in the control room, and we're going to go ahead and open this door for 1,250 points. And you're going to need, again, a lot of points coming up, so you might as well start meleeing, shooting them. This is a good choke point where they all line up. A good time to just shoot as many as you possibly can and get as many points as you want. I also recommend on round four going ahead and buying the grease gun that's in here. It's a good one to pack a punch anyway. And on wave five, when you fight in the buzzers, it makes it just a lot easier. Uh, the tunnel's in the control room right next to the grease gun. Follow that down, push the button again, and that's two tunnels for you. Again, wave five with all the buzzers, it makes it easy to have this grease gun. Open the door to the laboratory for another 1,500 points. And once you are able to make your way through there, you're just going to run straight to where the generator is. And you'll hear your guy say, I feel power in this thing. And once you reach that, you're going to take a left right next to it. And you'll see the third tunnel open. Dive in there. And you'll reach the gated room again. The gate will come up. There's a button to the right. Push it. And now the Pack-a-Punch is open and ready to use. 5,000 jolts in order to pack a punch a weapon. And so now just start collecting those points. When you get a insta-kill, push right on the D-pad, pull out your shovel, start getting those kills as fast as you can. Once you rack up 5,000, go back to the pack a punch machine, put your gun in there. And for me, my favorite's the grease gun, because you're in the control room a lot, you're able to buy the ammo for it there for 4,000 jolts. Once you have that all done, the, the beam will go away. 
you'll walk right up, grab that gun, and now it's about three times as powerful as it was before. And so on top of this, you can buy the Blitz that gives you more weapon damage. Uh, you can go into the mystery box, get other guns, pack a punch those as well. And so it's just a really good way to stay ahead of the zombies as they get stronger and faster. So thank you for watching. If this video helped you, click that like button. And if you want to see more Call of Duty content here in the future, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to go through the Easter egg. I finally made it to the big boss fight in this. I'm going to be posting videos of how to get to there. So if you like the way I teach you, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Anyway, this is Carefree Llama, and you guys have a great day.